Hello everyone in the multiverse and beyond. This is your friend forever, Evan LeFavor, with an important video. Today, we are going to be discussing the truth about the Illuminati Evanism connection to Prince. Okay, in case you didn't know, Prince, the artist formerly known as Prince, and Prince Rogers Nelson, Prince, has passed away on April 21st of the year 2016. But he was not supposed to die that day, all right? As a matter of fact, Prince was meant to help me save the world and bring about true freedom in heaven on earth for everyone alive, all right? But the evil Illuminati time traveled back to the before the year 2000 and, and got to Prince before I ever could. All right, they got the prince and they twisted his mind, they changed his destiny, and they created this alternate 2016 that we are now living in where Prince has tragically died. All right, so, but originally, Prince did not die in 2016. Originally, he was supposed to go on to help me save the world and bring about true freedom in heaven on earth for everyone alive. To bring about a peaceful revolution on this planet and bring about world peace. All right. Because, but unfortunately, we do not currently exist in that timeline because, like I said, the evil Illuminati has created this alternate 2016 where Prince has tragically died of mysterious causes. Mysterious, and we don't have the answers yet as to why exactly he passed away, but he passed away too young. All right, but Prince is not just a normal human being, all right? As a matter of fact, Prince is the brother of Jesus Christ, who was born in the kingdom of heaven. And he came to the planet Earth to be born in Minneapolis, Minnesota in the year 1958 in order to change the world forever with his music and help me save the world in bring about true freedom in heaven on earth for everyone alive, all right? And unfortunately, we never got to meet in, on this planet and change the world and s s together before he passed away, okay? And it's it sucks, all right? It sucks for all of us, but we do have Prince's music to remember him by. But you have to understand that Prince is the brother of Jesus Christ. And not only that, I, how do I know this? Because I am Evan LaFavor, and I am the biological father of Jesus Christ. And I am the king of the kingdom of heaven. And I came to this planet in 1983 to help change the world, save the world, and bring about true freedom in heaven on earth for everyone alive. All right, but um, I met Prince's heavenly mother in the kingdom of heaven because before I was born a human being on planet earth in 1983, I existed in the kingdom of heaven and I was the king of the kingdom of heaven and I met Prince's heavenly mother in the kingdom of heaven and we fell in love. And we had our first child, and we named him Prince, all right? Because his heavenly mother became the queen of the kingdom of heaven. I was the king of the kingdom of heaven, and our son Prince was the prince of the kingdom of heaven, all right? Because this all happened before I was born, before I ever had my son Jesus Christ was ever born, all right? And... Prince was born in heaven, and he loved music. He loved performing, and he was a musical genius at birth, all right? And he loved sharing his craft with the world. That's from a young age, all right? Since he was able to make sounds, he was making music, all right? And, um, but when Prince got older, he decided... To join the army of heaven and to help me come to planet earth to save the world and bring about true freedom in heaven on earth for everyone alive 
All right. So he and I came up with a plan for both of us to be born in the 20th century on planet Earth in the United States of America in Minneapolis, Minnesota. All right. And he, um, so basically, um, he decided to um, be, be born on, on planet Earth, to be incarnated on planet Earth. He was born in heaven, but he decided to trans er, descend down to planet Earth and become a human being here on this planet to help me save the world, all right? So Prince and I, from heaven, we decided who was going to be his heaven or his earth parents we found his earth father and prince became his father's guardian angel from the kingdom of heaven so prince was looking after his mother and father from heaven he was their guardian angel and he was um protecting his father and he was actually um uh inspiring his father and directing him to bring his earth parents together so that they would fall in love. And then he used, Prince used advanced reincarnation technology in the kingdom of heaven. Because the kingdom of heaven exists in the future in giant spaceships deep in outer space using highly advanced technology. All right. And in the kingdom of heaven, Prince had technology, reincarnation technology that allowed him to be born on planet Earth in Minneapolis, Minnesota in 1958. All right. And, but before he was born, he inspired his father. He even inspired his father with the name Prince Rogers. And his father loved this name and he used it as his stage name. His father used it as his stage name, Prince Rogers, before Prince was ever born. And he inspired his father to name him Prince once he was born, all right, in 1958. So um, he was born in Minneapolis because he knew I would be born in Minneapolis in 1983. And I am his heavenly father, all right. Prince has earth parents, an earth mother and an earth father that he was born to on this planet. But um, he, I am... A prince's heavenly father and he is jesus christ's heavenly brother and he has a different mother than jesus christ they share the same father that's why they're brothers but they have two different mothers in case you're wondering all right so anyway um we were both we both decided to be born in minneapolis so that one day we could come together and meet and talk to each other and work together to inspire everyone in the world to come together in world peace and have a peaceful revolution and establish a new world order on this planet where we bring about true freedom and heaven on earth for everyone alive all right but the evil illuminati went out of their way to change that destiny they didn't the evil illuminati does not want us to change the world so they went back in time and they changed prince they cha they they infiltrated his life and they messed with his head and they changed his lifestyle but they didn't destroy him right away but it led to his death and they are chances are they are the ones responsible for his death all right and prince passed away in an elevator in his house in minnesota in his estate in minnesota so he had his last breaths inside of an elevator all right so on this planet at least all right but you know even though prince didn't get to be here and help me change the world and bring about true freedom and heaven on earth for everyone alive he still did change this world forever with his musical and artistic contributions to our culture, both locally in Minneapolis and globally through the United States and globally, all right, as well. All right, Prince 
has changed this world forever. He has touched us all with his music, all right? And so we will always remember him. We will always have his music to remember him by. And, you know, he, he inspired us. And I will make a video at a later date going into the exact details about the hidden Evanism, Illuminati, symbolism in all the different songs that Prince made. Because in case you didn't know, there is a hidden meaning, a deeper meaning to all the Prince songs that he has ever made. All right. And I'll just tell you one right now. The song I Would Die For You is a song that Prince wrote about his father, me, Evan Lefebvre. Right, and the fact that I have died multiple times for the human race, and you know, um, it goes into a, a lot deeper than that. And I will explain that deeper in a later video, okay? So make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for new videos on this subject, all right? But make no mistakes, Prince has made his contributions to the world. And even though he won't be here on this planet to help me change the world and save the world, he will be working from the kingdom of heaven to help make that happen. All right. He is not dead. He exists as we speak in the kingdom of heaven. The second his consciousness stopped on this planet, his consciousness returned in the kingdom of heaven. And it was just like taking off a holographic visor and he's completely fine okay so don't worry about Prince he is back in the kingdom of heaven he is safe and sound he is disappointed that he can't be here to complete his destiny he's a little disappointed in himself and what happened in the last 16 years but it's not his fault it's because the evil inf uh, Illuminati infiltrated his life, all right? But Prince was a member of the good Illuminati, the Army of Heaven, because there are two different Illuminati groups. There's the good Illuminati and there's the evil Illuminati. And the evil Illuminati, they did not want Prince to succeed because he is a member of the good Illuminati, all right? And that is why they are, chances are, they are responsible for his death, all right? Because they are responsible for creating this alternate 2016 where Prince has died all right but Prince he loves his alone time and he's getting his rest and relaxation that he needs in the kingdom of heaven and he will be fueled by a source of infinite energy to keep on creating new more powerful more amazing music in the kingdom of heaven all right so while you don't you might not get to hear any brand new songs from him. You'll hear new songs from his vault as they try to profit off of the music that he made on this planet that he hasn't released yet. But in the kingdom of heaven, you have a lot to look forward to because Prince is already making new music in the kingdom of heaven, all right, as we speak. So you have a lot to look forward to when you pass away from this world and travel back to the kingdom of heaven yourself. All right. So I want to thank you all so much for all the love and compassion in your heart that you have for my heavenly son, Prince. All right. I want to thank you so much for supporting him so that he can live a happy life and contribute to this world the way he wanted to contribute to it with. So thank you so much for doing that because you know you made a difference on his life and he made a difference on your life and that's the way things should be and so thank you so much for watching this video now you know the truth about the connection prince has to illuminati evanism as you know it today so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share the video and i want to thank you again this is your friend forever Evan LaFaber, and I will see you next video. Until then, bye bye. And don't forget, I would die for you. Da -na 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 -na.